the real reason God's chosen ones are feared the most. When a person becomes born again, they become a target for spiritual attacks from Satan and his cohorts. This is because Satan knows that by attacking believers, he indirectly challenges God, whom he cannot directly confront. The battle faced by believers is not personal, but rather a manifestation of the cosmic struggle between good and evil. Satan's hatred towards believers stems from the fact that they are beloved by God. Believers are described as the apple of God's eye, and Satan's goal is to harm those whom God loves dearly. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross was a testament to God's immense love for humanity, and Satan seeks to undermine this love by attacking believers. Despite Satan's relentless efforts, believers are protected by the grace of God and divine security. This protection is often unseen, but is nevertheless present in believers' lives. Just as David acknowledged in Psalm 124, it is the Lord who preserves and delivers believers from the schemes of the enemy. One of the ways Satan identifies believers is through the light of God shining from them. When a person becomes saved, they transition from darkness to light, radiating the presence of Christ within them. This light is visible in the spiritual realm, distinguishing believers from those who dwell in darkness. Believers are sealed with the Holy Spirit as a guarantee of their inheritance in Christ. This seal serves as a mark of protection that Satan and his agents cannot easily penetrate. Satan himself acknowledged God's protective hedge around Job in the book of Job, highlighting the supernatural security surrounding believers. Believers are also baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire, symbolizing the divine empowerment and protection they receive upon salvation. This fire of God surrounds believers, shielding them from the attacks of the enemy. In essence, believers are not merely ordinary individuals, but are firebrands protected by God's divine power and grace. Trust God's providence. Even when decisions seem daunting, trust in God's providential care. God's sovereignty ensures that He can use our choices, even if we make mistakes, to fulfill His purposes in our lives. Surrender your decisions to God, trusting that He will work all things together for your good and His glory. Embrace growth through choices. Decision-making is a vital part of our spiritual growth and maturity. Just as children learn and develop through making choices, our spiritual growth is facilitated by discerning God's will and making decisions in alignment with it. Embrace the responsibility and privilege of making choices, trusting that God will guide and shape you through the process.